What it do? It's your guy, Big Better Kid. You are now in tune to another episode of the Saved by Big Better Kid. And today, I got my guy, Michael White, in the building. Welcome to Victor Mound Juniors. We sell Italian food and deliver it on black time. <laughs> That's why our motto is, we appreciate your patience. Yeah! Hey, what is the deal? Puto power! What's up? What's up, Kim? Out. Hey, hey, my guy, man. We've been in the man. Shit, we go way back. This is this is one of my guys right here, man. Yeah, hey, yeah. One of another legend in the building. Michael White's been around for the longest of time. And if you don't we, know who he is, we have been under a rock. We used to hang out at City Skates every Friday. <laughs> <laughs> I remember them days, man. There was some good fucking days, dog. Yeah, yeah. Them, them fucking freestyle contests, uh, all that shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And look where we at now. <laughs> you know what like I'm a saying? motherfucker. But like I was saying, like uh, if you don't, know, if, if they don't know who you are, they've obviously been under a motherfucking rock their whole life. And give them a little background of where Crack Rock. Are. You know what I'm saying? Give him a little background of who Mike White is. Uh, my name is uh, Michael White. Fucking right. Uh, I put money over bitches and God over everything. Uh, monster grinding. Um, stop staring at my cup. Uh, oh, yeah. And, you know, players undermining their opponents. P-U-T-O. Puto power. I'm the Slive King. The your original. I invented it. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. There's, I mean, there's not really much to say about me. Well, I mean, <laughs> shit, you motherfucking one of the motherfucking craziest motherfuckers I know, bro. Like, you got, I, I, you got to act crazy to keep from going crazy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can cuss, right? Yeah. Okay, I think I've been cussing. Oh. <laughs> like, you know, uh, it, it, for motherfuckers that don't understand that shit, you know what I'm saying? It usually be the quiet motherfuckers who be the crazy. You know, th those are the craziest ones, the ones that are just like quiet. You know what I mean? Just quiet, quiet, bottling it up, bottling it up, and then BAM! Colorblind! Colorblind High School! Trench coat! Trench coat! You know what I'm saying? And that's why you have to do it while it's happening. Don't bottle it up. Just go, yeah, act crazy to keep from going crazy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, speaking of going crazy. Don't, motherfuckers who act normal, those are the crazy ones. <laughs> so I'm not really crazy. <laughs> well, speaking for, for, uh, speaking for the un unnormal people, dog, like, you have made a big transition from doing artistry to battling like you know what i'm talking about like you are tell them what I, about it, when I think of battling i think of you like i don't i don't think of nobody else especially in the state of texas like i, I first motherfucking mind i think about is motherfucking michael white hmm. so how long you been battling like bro you was you was there when i was battling i was i, I was that. i was i know that i was 13 <laughs> I was 13 years old at, <laughs> at the skating rink every Friday. I know they, that. They had a rap battle every Friday. At, at, uh, city skates. City motherfucking skates. Yeah, man. There was a rap battle every fucking Friday, right? It was the first. Okay, this is how it was. So I was And I was 13 when I started. You know what I'm saying? It was like, uh, so it was 2001. And um, fucking, uh, so they would have it to where it was like a freestyle contest for it. Everybody signed up. Everybody just rapped spit a rap you know what i'm saying like a regular rap and then the best two people they put together to battle and that's how you won the contest or not you know what i'm saying okay. so like i would always end up in the battle round you know what i mean whether i, I won or lost i would always end up there you know what i'm saying so and so that's why i kind of and you know it was like a thing you had to battle like it wasn't like you know i i didn't go to battle 
it's just you know i was kind of just like forced into it because that was the final round <laughs> you know what i'm saying <laughs> so like i started learning like that because i would end up in the final round all the damn time and so and you know 106 and park was popping with the poster boy versus fucking jen oh, or, yeah. or i mean jen and, and poster boy you know everybody wanted to be like this was before eight mile too you know eight mile didn't come out till like a year later you know what i'm saying so we wasn't we wasn't on no eight miles she was on some freestyle friday 106 and park shit trying to be like poster boy and jen yeah. You know what I'm saying? So we would watch, cause it would it would be on Friday too. So we would watching fucking Poster Boy battle somebody, and then we fucking go to City Skates the, ne uh, the, the next few hours, and just and try to go hard like that. You know what I'm saying? Shit, I was saying some good shit too. I was saying some shit like wipe your fucking face off for the. I mean, uh, I said wipe your fucking face off with a bunch of oxy pads. Your fucking teeth look like a. Look like a traffic jam of New York taxi cabs. You know what I'm saying? Like, I was saying some good shit because 106 The Park was really helping, you know, making you want to step your game up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. yeah and yeah. I was really, if there was cell phones back then, bro, I'd be a legend. <laughs> <laughs> if there was fucking camera phones back then, I'd be a fucking legend, legend, legend. <laughs> Dead ass, man. I'd be a fucking 13 year old on, on YouTube. <laughs> battling 18 year I was battling 18 year old bro those fucking old ass motherfuckers going to the team club. <laughs> I was I remember being 14 battling 18 19 year olds you know what I'm saying because because I also you know would go to tequila boom they would have yeah. they would have teen nights over there that was Sunday so Friday uh city skates was Friday tequila boom was Sunday so I'm battling two times a week and it's the only thing I'm doing while I'm at school is writing rhymes and trying to get ready for battle so so ever since then man that's like what I wanted to be man you know what that's I mean? What's up? That's what's up. And, and over the years, like you, you built your fan base of being your motherfucking self, and that's that's why I fuck with you, man. Cause like no matter what, like you you stuck to to your roots, bro. And that's that's fucking awesome. You know what I'm saying? Like most people, most people yeah, man. I still success and I still dress I still dress like I did at City Skates, man. I, <laughs> every fucking day I get ready like it's Friday <laughs> to skate. Fast, you know what I'm saying? So, you definitely try to stay true to yourself so that's that's a big part in itself of um, of your longevity you know what i'm talking about and um one of your battles was overseas in the uk right you yeah I, I was the first uh battle rapper from texas to get booked on the main stage in uk How was in that? london england How was that? shit uh man that was crazy the the jet lag was crazy i was falling asleep at the battle like on the on the fucking benches there was it was like pictures popping up on fucking facebook of me sleeping <laughs> on the fucking benches by london by england british motherfuckers <laughs> <laughs> and uh man it was it was fun man it was like it was a it was crazy that was like the man it was like a stadium in that bitch man i performed in front of like thousands of fucking people in another fucking country and then when i went to the parking lot everybody fucking knew me i felt like i was in corpus christi you know what i'm saying <laughs> i felt like i was home because you know because everybody there was girls screaming corpus christi like people were screaming my city you know uh, our city you know what i'm saying <laughs> that is fucking wild. What was uh, yeah. that experience like just being overseas, like being in a different, like, did you get any type of culture shock? Like, did you, how long were you there? Like, you know what I'm talking about? Like, Man, what, you know, what, what did you pick up from, from the British community? I didn't feel like, a, I didn't feel a culture shock too much, you know, because they, because, you know, you know why? Because, uh, because the, you know, the, the environment I was in, these are motherfuckers who want to be like Americans. You know what I'm right. saying? So I think that's why I wasn't too much of a culture shock because these motherfuckers <laughs> are part of our culture. You know what I'm saying? They're trying to be like our culture. So, you know, they're embracing it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. So uh, it felt like, kind of felt like I was at home because, you know, you, you, you would think like when you go to another country, you got to be like them. You know what I'm saying? But nah, they want to be like us. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so that's what made it easier, I guess, to, you know. How was the food? Oh, man. You know what's so crazy, bro? I know this is fucking retarded and it sounds retarded, but the McDonald's is great in London, bro. <laughs> because, and, and I found out why I kept on eating it too, because I felt healthy afterwards. I felt happy afterwards. I felt like I, I just ate a good meal. You know what I mean? And and I found out that they have stricter meat restrictions. Damn. In fucking London, you know what I mean? Like, uh, I guess I what I heard is that like you know I guess they can't afford to pay off certain politicians to like to let to allow in the fucked up shit no. like america can <laughs> that's what i heard i heard like i heard that's why like america is so fucked up with food restrictions because people are paying off politicians to like pass you know like 
to just get off, you know, get off our neck. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, let yeah, us yeah, let yeah. us fucking sell what we sell. You know what I mean? Here, you know what I mean? That's what I heard. But and, and you know, and I guess England is a, a little not not as rich as America, so that's why like everything, most shit is probably healthy there. <laughs> okay. Ironically. <laughs> Well, like, yeah, like I was saying, boy, true, uh, you staying true to yourself, you know what I'm saying? Like, you are a one-on-one -one individual, you know what I'm saying? And that led you, you know what I'm saying, to a spot on on radio, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. And um, that actually, I was fucking proud of you Man. for making it that far. You know I was proud about? of I you, and I saw that you made it on the radio, too. I was and like, I was damn, like, we both on the radio. <laughs> I was like, damn, they <laughs> fucked up and hired the right motherfucker <laughs> to play that part. The wrong right motherfucker. The wrong right motherfucker. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? So, what, what, I mean, and, and, you was on, and you was on the morning show. That was something, that's something I want to get to. I want to work my way up to a morning show. Man, I wanted man, to be, on. I wanted to be at your spot, the 7 p.m. spot. <laughs> no, nah, I'm actually on 10 to 2, but uh, that's another story. Yeah. But yeah, uh, I wanted to be on a, I, I aspire <laughs> to be on, you know what I'm saying, the morning show, right. in the morning show. Right. And, and you got to experience that, you know what I'm saying? So what, what was that experience like? Working like on the morning show, you know what I'm talking about? Like being able to help people get to work and, you know, start their day. Man, what's so crazy like is that. I was uh I was just moving back from Atlanta. I was living in Atlanta for like four months. I did a few battles out there too. And um, you know what I mean? I mean not only did I go because uh, you know I was I was with my I was with my, my my girl and shit, but uh because, you know, this was during the like knee deep in the pandemic when Nothing was going on in Texas, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But Atlanta, for some reason, it was popping there. Like, <laughs> it's like you could walk in the store with no mask on and shit. And like, even the store clerks didn't have mask on. And fucking, it was like, it was you know, clubs was still open. It was, it was crazy, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. so it was good for my career. <laughs> and uh, you know, so I knocked off like three or four battles out there. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. That, and that's that's unheard of, like in Texas at, during the p pandemic. You know what I'm saying? Like, Facts. Because it was like really strict over here, and so you know that was like another reason. And but uh, after four months, I'm, I'm moving back. You know to Corpus. Uh, and the, the pandemic's already kind of dying off. You know Golden Corral is open now. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like like so that's <laughs> so like everything is like kind of getting back to normal when I move back. And as I'm as I'm driving back. <clears throat> fucking uh they hit me up uh i'm seven hours away from corpus and he don't even know this he don't he didn't even know i was in the ally he don't know nothing about me he just like i uh dude just like ran into my fucking i guess facebook somehow and um fucking uh checked out all my shit and just like hit me up on messenger and he, he called me up on messenger and he was just like it's like how come nobody's ever put you on a morning show before how come you never like went to you know asked to be on a morning show or whatever? And I was like, oh, I kind of just wait till people they just come to me because you know I feel like I'm wasting my time just fucking trying to ask somebody. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm right. saying? Because I, I mean I, I learned that growing up, man. You can't ask for shit because it's I mean no, it's not gonna happen. You just gotta let it come to you. Just put in your hard work and God yep. gave it to you, and that's what happened. So he was like, uh, he was like, hey man, uh, well, would you would you be down to <coughs> do the morning show with us and uh. Or whatever. I was like, hell yeah. I'm I'm actually coming back from Atlanta right now. I'm I'm seven hours away. He said, Oh, I didn't know you were out of town. And I'm like, Yeah, but I'll, I'll be in Corbett. Like, you know, I'm moving back. You know what I'm saying? And uh, so it was crazy. It was like it was like it was meant to be. You know what I'm saying? I'm like already entering into a new opportunity as yeah, I'm coming back, <laughs> like on accident and shit. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> that's hella dope. That's hella dope. You know what I'm saying? And like, especially I heard when I heard you, I was like, God damn, my boy made it. That's that's hella clean. You know what I'm talking about? Like, you was on there doing your motherfucking thing. Like, I, I don't know. I was just, I was just fucking proud of you. The I, way you I felt the did. same way too, man. When I when I heard you, I, I was surprised. I was like, damn, they just hiring everybody now. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? And, and we actually talked about, you know what I'm saying? Like doing some shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like. Trying to, I, I trying wish to, we could have been hired on the same fucking radio. Yeah, <laughs> like, uh, <laughs> yeah, that'd have been dope. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Shit, um, it would have fucked up. <laughs> we, talked, we, we, we talked about you know trying to trying to bring some um some change around this bitch with our with our with our positions. 
You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. un un unfortunately, I don't like, I don't know the details, but if you would like to care to explain what happened with you falling out with um, set radio station, um, I mean, this is this is your chance to like, I guess, get your side it, of the story. It was just, uh, I, 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 uh, I'll just keep it a little simple. I'll give you a, a short answer. Uh, I just, I just needed to put more time into. Uh, Restaurant, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to prosper on, pick them on, Junior. Oh man! Like I'm just, I, I'm just, I, I just got, you know, uh, I'm just more into my hustle right now and like trying to build this, build this restaurant up. You know what I'm saying? And uh, it kind of got, in, that's what kind of got in the way. You know what I mean? Just trying to. But you know, we, you know, we good. You know what I'm saying? That's what's we still up. good. That's I, what's up. We still, we still all love. You know what I'm That's saying? What's up. Um, I, I got, I got hit up from him the other day. He was giving me, homie was giving me props on a, uh, Tommy was giving me props on a video that I just came out with and shit. Like we still good. Ain't no bad blood or nothing. That's what's you know up. What I'm saying. That's what's up. And I appreciate the opportunity. <laughs> <clears throat> well, shit, um. The spaghetti. Let's talk about the motherfucking spaghetti. You like the logo? I love the logo. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Have you seen the movie Money Talks? <laughs> <laughs> this shit is hilarious. <laughs> so so I, I got the name. I know you're going to ask me where I got the name from. Yeah. I got it from the movie Money Talks. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it's with Chris Tucker. And uh, it's pretty much... Uh, so <laughs> so it shows him... Okay, I got... Uh, so so in the show, he's in the, so he's in the bathroom, like getting dressed. And then like this commercial comes on a little TV next to him, and uh, it's some guy named Victor Moon, who was an Italian singer, a white Italian singer, and he married a black uh, lady named Diana or something. And um, and what's it called? So right after that, he fucking goes with Charlie Sheen to this wedding rehearsal thing or whatever, and he has to pretend he's like his friend or whatever, but he's really like a, he's a fugitive on the run, and he's trying to he's trying to hold on to him for a new story. And um, and so when the dad answers the door, the Italian father, you know, cause uh, the the family's Italian, the the, the girl that that Charlie Sheen's marrying, whatever. And uh, so the the father asks, well, who who'd you bring with you? <laughs> and uh, and, he, and Tris Tucker goes, Big the Mountain, <laughs> Junior. <laughs> and he goes, Oh, okay, so you're uh, you're you're Big the Mountain and Diana's son. So you, <laughs> you know the and uh. And I kind of just got the idea from that, cause I'm not really Italian either, <laughs> but I'm selling Italian food. So Victor Mon Jr.'s Italian food. <laughs> you know, I'm not happy with something until it makes me laugh. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of <laughs> that's kind of my style. It's a terrible as fuck. <laughs> oh, and my and my ex girlfriend's from Italy. She's Italian. She taught me how to make uh, the best spaghetti in the fucking world. You know what I'm saying? And um. She stayed in Atlanta, um, and, and everybody's talking about, why you still using her recipe? Look, man, look. She stole my heart, so I <laughs> stole her recipe. <laughs> Used up. She, she took up all. She. Ah! <laughs> I spend a lot of time on her, right? I invested a lot of time on her. Time is money. I'm just trying to get my money back. Hey. Hey. Time is nah, money. But, uh. But what's it called? Um, <laughs> nah, she. But she didn't even. She wasn't even trying. You know, wasn't even. She wasn't even trying to hustle it in the first place, man. It's just one day she cooked it for me, and I was like, I'm eating it, and I'm like, yo, this is money. You know what I'm saying? I'm. I was like, we should sell this, and she's like, no, Michael, don't be selling food. It's a waste of money. You know what I'm saying? And I, <laughs> and I had to prove to her that I can do it. I was like, I was like, man, please just give me one. Let me have one day. I might just spend money on this shit, and and if it don't work, I won't do it again. You know what I'm saying? Okay, only one day, Michael. You know what I'm saying? Got that strong ass Italian voice. <laughs> and, uh, so I did it, and it was a, it was successful. I doubled my money back, like crack, like coke. You know what I'm saying? And she let me she let me fucking do that shit. <laughs> you That's know what I'm saying? Up. And, and then after, and so so it was like my thing, my idea to sell it in the fucking first place. She cooked it. My idea to hustle it, you know what I'm saying? It wasn't like I stole a business from her, you know. I started the business, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I did the dirty work. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. A man, of, and, a man of motherfucking many, many hustles, many talents. And and it, and it helped me a lot too by 
But my fame helped me a lot too. You know, the fame that I, the little fame that I got in my city, you know what I'm saying? That really helped me. Like, sometimes I wonder, man, like, are they buying it for the spaghetti? Are they buying it because I'm Michael White? Or they just, did they buy it because I was Michael White? And then they're like, oh shit, this is good spaghetti. And then they buy it again because yeah. of the spaghetti, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but I know a lot of y'all just doing it on the low just to meet me and shit. Nah, I'm playing. <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy but i appreciate the support though man it's, it's, it's so cool to have a job where like uh your own your own fucking job where you don't have to fucking get a job you know what i'm saying yeah, yeah. <laughs> like well, you it, work for yourself type shit yeah like it's just so dope that i don't have to get an actual job like this is my job you know what i'm saying facts. I'm, I'm good with this facts facts and when it comes when it comes to like you like as a as a as a brand Michael White, you do everything yourself, like produce, motherfucking shoot your own videos, you edit them hoes, like you put them bitches out on Instagram, TikTok, like, so how the fuck do you find all the time to do all of that shit and still serve some mean spaghetti around the <laughs> It's because I'm fucking, I'm poor. That's why I had, that's why I had, that's why you have to, that's why I had to do everything myself, man. I can't afford to buy $500 beats from QB. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to QB. I can't afford to fucking buy a thousand dollar videos from uh, D Dorian, D Green. You know what I'm saying? I can't, uh, you know, I can't afford to do shit. I can't afford to be a rapper, so I had to do everything my fucking self. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, it just it, it just happened to be one of those things. It's like, fuck, I got to learn how to do this shit because I can't afford to do this shit. You know what I'm saying? And <laughs> but uh, the only thing I, I, I do spend my money on is studio time, at least. I have to go to Metropolis, the best recording studio in Corpus. That's Shout out to up. Mike Fuentes. That's what's up. You That's know what I'm saying? Up. Like, if, I, if I'm if i going to spend my money on anything that has to do with music, I, I'm going to go to that studio right there. You know what I'm saying? Anybody else studio, you got to let me in for free if you want me there. You know <laughs> I'll go, but you got to let me in for free. <laughs> <laughs> So nah. <laughs> what, what, what's the inspiration like behind your music? Like, what's the message that you want to get out? What, what, what's, you know, what I'm saying, where, what is your music? Where does your inspiration to do the music come from? Um, man, I would say from pain. <laughs> uh, you know, it, it it kept me from man. What music did for me, man? It you know, cause you know, you know, at that time, uh. You know, back in the day when I first started, that, that was around the time where like gangs was still popping. Like, you know, it was still like a thing to get clicked into gangs and fucking, you know, be a part of like that kind of life. You know what I'm saying? And uh, sell drugs, whatever. You know what I'm saying? And um, music really kept me, really saved my life. You know what I'm saying? Like, I think that you know that's what it. Like, I I don't do drugs. I don't smoke. I don't drink because you know music really. It became my drug, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It became my everything. It be yeah. became my click. It became my gang. You know, it became my fucking crack. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's why I didn't need to be a part of any of that, cause that, you know already that was, you know where you know all I needed. You know, I, I hung out with the gangs. Like I was always like I was always chilling. Like you know what I mean? Like every time, you know, uh, it used to be a thing where you know when you kick it with gangs or whatever, and they'd be like, you know, who you rolling with? He used to be like, shit, I'm just chilling. And I, I was that dude. I, just, yeah. I was that dude that you'd be like, I'm just chilling. Because <laughs> that's what you say whenever somebody, you know, back in the day, whenever somebody would ask you, like, who you rolling with, whatever. You know what I'm saying? It used to be really hardcore back then, you know, more than it is now. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, but yeah, man, it kept me from that. Like, you know, it just made me feel like, it made me feel like this is something just as cool as that. Like, I don't have to do that to be cool. I can do this to be cool. You know right. what I'm saying? Right. And, uh, man, music just, that inspired me to just be a better person, man. And um, even though I don't look like a, I don't look like a, a better person. <laughs> <laughs> so what, what, what do you what do you like better? Like, do you like dropping like the videos for your music, or do you like actually being in the ring, tearing somebody a motherfucking head off? Um, man, I like I like doing all that. I mean, and the thing about battling is I don't I don't go in there to win the battle. I go in there to win my self. Um, like as long as I do the performance that I did in front of the mirror, then I won no matter what. You know what I'm saying? Like if I fucking if it's not the same thing that I did in the fucking mirror, I lost. That's when I'm like, fuck. That's not how it was supposed to fucking go. Like right. that's not how I was supposed to deliver it. I didn't say it right. Fuck. I lost. 
I lost. Fuck it, you won. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> the only time I feel that's the only time I lose is when, cause that's why I'm the boy who blocked his own shot. Only I can make me lose. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Nobody could beat me but me. Like you didn't really win. I beat me. You know what I'm saying? Right. <laughs> so technically, I did win. <laughs> you know what that's I'm saying? That's what's up. That's what's up. You only you only won cause. Cause I beat me. <laughs> I fucked myself up. Like, yeah. Uh, fuck up. <laughs> yeah. So what's next? <coughs> what's coming up next for Michael White? What you got any new projects? Like um, any new videos? Shit, when I get out of Facebook, just yeah, going down. Hey, it's going down. <laughs> Put some money on my man commissary and that Facebook pin. I got eight. <laughs> hey, I got eight more days until I'm out there, bitch. I'm gonna be dropping stuff. Hey, yo, right now I'm blowing up. <laughs> <laughs> right now I'm blowing up on TikTok though. Hey. You know what I'm saying? Cause like I'm in Facebook jail for 30 days, right? I'm like, fuck, what do I do? And I hate going to other websites. I fucking hate it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like I hated that that we had to leave MySpace. You know what I'm saying? Like, fuck, why we had to leave MySpace and go to this <laughs> fucking stupid ass Facebook? So I'm like, okay. See, I only go to shit when I have to. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. When everybody fucking when I was the only person on MySpace, I was like, all right, I'll make a Facebook. <laughs> so uh, I fucking make a Facebook and then like that's why I push my shit at. I'm blowing up on there. And now everybody wants to have Instagram, TikTok, fucking Twitter. And I'm like, you're <laughs> fucking assholes. You know what I'm saying? Like, why can't we just stay in one spot? And so uh, I would I would open up everything. You know what I mean? Right. Just to keep it open. But I wouldn't fuck with it. You know what I mean? Like, I'd fuck with it. I stay on Facebook to promote my shit. And, um... But I think I think it happened for a reason, man. I think God put me in Facebook jail because uh, <laughs> because 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 once I, got, I, I I once like after a few weeks, I'm like, man, I gotta do something, bro. So I went to my TikTok. I was like, fuck it, I'll just start posting shit on TikTok. And when shit started blowing the fuck up, bro, like I'm already at 200,000 views on one of the videos that I fucking God, uploaded man. like five days ago. I'm like, man, TikTok is the fucking truth. So now, like, I'm really pushing myself on TikTok right now. Like, I think I'm fucking blow up on that bitch. That's what's <laughs> like, up. The followers are going up. Like, that's the, what's up. And you know what I'm saying? So now I'm, I'm really working on that. I'm pushing that, hitting it. You know what I mean? But uh, but yeah. So TikTok and Facebook, those are gonna be my two little bitches right there. You know what I'm saying? Facts. That I'm gonna push my shit on. So I gotta ask you why I got you here. You you're you're in the same area that era that I was that I came up in, like CDs. Mm. And hard copy of shit. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And that's how that's how month. That's what I was doing know. before the spaghetti. You know what I'm saying? Like CDs, CDs don't CDs don't sell no more. So now spaghetti. You know what I'm <laughs> and now now it's fucking streaming and Apple Music. Yeah, but I miss it. Title. How do you? How I miss the feel CDs, man. When I when when CDs was popping, I was able to do that for a job too. Like like I'm doing this right here. I was able to do that with CDs. You know what I'm saying? I used to fucking like man. I would say. Uh, and in 2009 was definitely the prime prime for me, bro. Cause that's when I got my my first car. You know what I'm saying? And um, I was 21. I was going all over Texas, bro. Driving all over Texas, every convenience store I would see, every Walmart. I'm fucking sleeping in the cars at Walmart out of town. Just save my money. I ain't spending this fucking CD money on no hotel. Fuck that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> And I'm running into other rappers too. You know, I ran into Zero's brother, Dougie D. That's you know what I'm up. saying? And, and he knew who I was. You know what I'm saying? Every time I see him, he'd be like, "What's up, the boy who blocked his own shot?" Like if hey. one, of, like if one of his partners was trying to sell a CD to me, he'd be like, "Hey, that's the boy who blocked his own shot." <laughs> <laughs> and like, like basically telling him I'm doing the same thing, two yeah. type shit. <laughs> but um. Oh, I ran into Billy Cook. You know what I'm saying? That's like I was up. hustling in fucking Victoria, Texas, at the mall, and uh, Billy Cook walks in, and he remembered me from IHOP in Corpus, cause my ass rap for him at the table. <laughs> cause I was I was a ser was when I was a server, and uh, and fucking I seen him walk in the mall, and he was like, he's like, what's your name? I was like Mike. I was like Michael White. No, I think I said Mike, cause I I didn't I didn't fucking know it was him at first. You know, I said Mike, and he's like Michael White. I said yeah. I said oh shit, Billy Cook. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And, and that and that was around the time when they just came out with when him and Ro just came out with a uh, y'all better act like y'all respect something around here. So he was popping around that time. You know what I'm saying? Like everybody in the mall was like, you know what I'm saying? Just like what's up, good? You know, trying to buy his CDs and shit. You know what I'm saying? We were walking around selling CDs together. Like, man, it was crazy, man. I, I was, I was That's doing tight. that. That's what I was doing for a living, man. I was, I was fucking just shit. I used to, man. I used to over. I was so good at that hustle, bro. I would overdraft from my bank at Frost Bank, the $500, and then 
to re-up on CD and then pay that $500 back like two days later. That's what's you up. know what I'm saying? Like, me and Frostbank, shit, that was my shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and, uh, but yeah, man, like, I, that was, CDs was the shit back then, bro. And then when that fucking, did, when everything, and it was still hard. Cause I was still running in the fucking little knuckleheads talking about, do you have it on MP3 to download? And I'm like, no, bitch, you gotta buy the CD. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> like, it was still pretty annoying. You know, I was running into people. With, do you have a credit card machine? Like, no, bitch. <laughs> There's an ATM machine right there. <laughs> you know what I mean? I I, I should have got that fucking thing. That you a little square thing. Yeah. yeah. Cause the, cause they was doing it. The Houston rappers. I saw you know Billy Cook. All of them. They had that fucking shit. You know what I mean? I was like, I'm gonna get that one day. I just didn't fucking do it, man. I was because I was still doing okay with the paper money. Yeah, everything. I was, shit. I was yeah. still somehow getting it, but <laughs> all that motherfucking shit moving to technology now. Like yeah. everything. Yeah. Now that's in that to... technology, man. I'm just. I mean, I still sell CDs. Like, I actually, uh, you know, I, I sell it to a point. I still do good too. Like, like, uh, not to a point where I can make it a fucking job. Just a side hustle. You know what I mean? Like, like, uh, uh, like when I go out, I only, I don't, you know, I used to go to people and be like, hey man, check out my new CD. You like, are you, uh, my name is Michael White. I'm from Corpus Christi. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, and before you say anything, I'm gonna spit around for you. So you, you, you like it, you know what I'm saying? Buy it. If you don't, cool. You know what I'm saying? That's how I used to talk to people. You know what I'm saying? I would, I would rap like a thousand times a day. The same verse. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> the same fucking verse. And um, you know, they would be like, like, wow, that's dope. But I only have any money on me right now. Sorry, bro. But damn, that's so cool. You know what I mean? Or yeah, I got you. You know what I'm saying? So uh, it was just. Huh. You know, you know, you know, a wise hustler once told me, you're gonna get a hundred no's before you get one yes. You know what I'm saying? And that's why I stayed out there. That's why I was getting it. You know what I'm saying? I was making like a hundred dollars a fucking day. You know what I'm saying? Flipping that shit. I mean, I still had a re-up, so I'm taking like what, 40 or 50 or something out of that shit. But um But what's it called? Uh man, when CD started dying out, like Oh yeah, I was gonna say, uh, so now when I sell CDs, I just go I don't even ask people, I just go out in public um like whenever i'm out in public i'll have one with me or something and then somebody says hey what up michael white you fucked up because now i'm about to i'm about to ask you you know what i'm saying <laughs> so that's how i do it like when somebody like approaches me or say what up to me i'm like man shit nothing man up uh, but check this out i got the album <laughs> you know instead of instead of bugging people in the parking lot right. I, don't, I don't do that no more i wait till you bug me <laughs> then i'll bug you you know what i'm saying <laughs> and uh but um what's it called uh um, and that, that does that does good too, man. It's like, shit. Sometimes I sometimes I go out on purpose. Like if I just need some money, like I don't fucking have any spaghetti supplies or something, and I only have CDs. Like I'm like, man, I need some money. I want some water burgers. I'll just walk around Walmart real quick for like 30 minutes or an hour until somebody fucking poaches me and then bam, get that quick ten. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> go get that. Go yeah, get that dub. yeah, like a mug. <laughs> <laughs> shit, but um. But, but yeah, definitely that fucking digital shit is what it, what it is, man. But, um, I mean, I'm on there. I, I was on there. They took it down. Talking about copyright shit. I think, I think I had a, man, I think it was be crazy. I think because I had a TLC sample on that fucking bitch. Oh. And, um, yeah, that, that something. That clearing shit is a motherfucker. I think I had a Michael Jackson sample too on that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, that definitely... <laughs> Yeah, they, I, I they, was they, on they, iTunes and Spotify, but I gotta redo that shit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so so let the people know where they can find your music, your motherfucking spaghetti. This is time to talk your shit, get your shine on. Okay, you can find my spaghetti in my tummy. <laughs> Just hit me up, and I'll give you some of it. Oh! Um, you can hit up my TikTok. This is Michael White three six one zero zero zero. I know that's a fucked up fucking tag, but <laughs> but three six one thousand. Hey, you know what I mean? It just looks weird because it looks like a bunch, big ass fucking username. Uh, my Facebook is Michael White three six one. Everything Michael White three six one except for fucking TikTok. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because I, I had it on TikTok as like a regular thing, but um, but I think I, I opened up a new one because I forgot the fucking password to the other one. So that's why I had to add another zero and shit. So that's why it's, it's a fucked up username. Hate that shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but it's all good. Um, and fuck yeah, YouTube, Instagram, everything. Michael White three six one. You know what I'm saying? Um, fucking uh, 
And I deliver for free my spaghetti. It's $10 a plate. Come with a large tea. Best spaghetti in the world. Best tea in the world. You know what I'm saying? That's what's up. That's what's up. Man, look. Anytime you want to come through, it's nothing but love. You already know what it is, my guy. Shout out to Red Boat. Shout out to Trap House Kitchen. Hey. Shout hey, out to everybody. Hey. Oh, shout out to Taco show. Rich. Got to get him on the show. Shout out to Red Line. Got to get them. Yeah. Gotta man, everybody Taco putting in work yeah. on the food hustle, you know man. Saying? That's what's up. Like I said, Michael White, it's nothing but love, man. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you've been a, a staple in this motherfucking community for a long time. So, I wish Appreciate you nothing, that, bro. nothing but success, my brother. Anytime you got something going on, you want to come through, come holla at me, man. My doors is always motherfucking open, man. I appreciate the support, man. That's since day one, man. You always been like this. You always been 100, man. Man, look, I'm trying to a tell lot, you. And a lot of people done changed throughout the years, but shit. Since City's case, bro, you stayed 100. You know you a solid motherfucker, man. You a real one, bro. Shit, you can man. stay solid that long. <laughs> real shit. Facts. But, you know what I'm saying? Like, um, make sure you check out my guy, Michael White. Vic the most Italian food, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? Check him out. All sh- well, he just said he ain't on iTunes or Spotify, but I'm, I'm gonna be back on there. I was on there. When he gets back on, we'll I'm let about- y'all know. <laughs> we'll let y'all know where he's I'm at. on Bandcamp. You can get uh you can get my music at bandcamp.com. Uh Bet. what is it? www.bandcamp.com Bet. slash Michael White Music. Yeah. <laughs> Bad that. There you go. Bad that. Bad that. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you hit him up for that damn spaghetti. Feel your belly. You dig? Oh, yo, yo, yo. Hold on. I got to tell him this, though. I got to go tell ahead, him. Go ahead. Talk your shit. I story. make spaghetti and your mama do, too. But I make spaghetti better than your mama do. Hey, I make spaghetti and your mama do, too. Huh. But I make spaghetti better than your mama do. Huh. It's only $10 for a plate. Huh. Wait, the delivery is free. Hey, that's a fucking bargain. I must say, Victor Mount Jr. is our name. Yo hey. mama, yo mama. Can't make spaghetti as good as me. Uh. Fuck that bitch. Yo mama, yo mama. <laughs> Can't make spaghetti as good as me. <laughs> Fuck that bitch. Monster grinding. Pick up the spaghetti, <laughs> man. Make sure you check me out on the weekend wake up show every Saturday on Hot Z95. 95.5 on your FM radio And if you ain't got by radio You can always check out the motherfucking app You know what I'm saying And if you're sitting at a computer You can listen live Hotz95.com All that You know what I'm saying It's your boy Big Better Kid You have been saved by Big Better Kid My guy Michael White is in the building Thank you for stopping by Thank you for talking to me my dude Man, Man nothing but love bro. Nothing but motherfucking love Alrighty. You know what I'm saying like and subscribe the video, the page, whatever. AKB forever. I love y'all. Peace. I make spaghetti in your mama do too, but I make spaghetti better than your mama do. Hey, I make spaghetti in your mama do too, but I make spaghetti better than your mama do. We want to hear it in Chinese. <laughs>